Hi, this is Freya with another episode of How to Sing That Song. Since it has been really popular when I did musical theater pieces, I'm going to do another one out of Phantom of the Opera. It is a really popular one and my students love it too. Wishing you were somehow here again. Now, since Christine is a very young, very sweet girl, you don't have to do a dark classical color here, even though it is sung mainly in classical head voice. You don't want to sound too heavy on it. You want to be kind of on the light side of your head voice. So it's more like a da 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 instead of oh, so don't like don't make it way open in the back of your throat just be a little bit more neutral in the position back there uh, but make sure you have your vowels nice and open so um, it's like this you were once my one companion you were all that mattered so try to look for an ah whenever there's a chance so on a lot of Mm, spots here there are actually ahs you were once a friend and father then my world was shattered so it's not shattered mattered so since you can't sing on an er sing on an uh shattered mattered so let me show you what i mean my one companion you were all that mattered you were once a friend and father then my world was shattered so and also make sure that you're D at the end, your ED ending, like mattered and shattered, that it's actually a really nice D. Mattered, shattered. So nice and uh, very obvious D. Another thing you may have noticed, it's very important to start the pitch direct. It starts on a U twice, U and then even later it starts on wishing so technically these are actually vowels so it's a e and it's a who wishing you so start directly don't pull it up don't go like you were once but start very direct the ye is the is the pitch already that you want to hit it doesn't start on the ooh not you but ew. and now when it goes on a uh, shattered wishing you were some oh hero again again very open stay light and it needs to be very legato here which means you should imagine it was as if it were one long pitch, like one long bell. Wishing you were some oh, here again. Don't interrupt the flow of the voice. Wishing you were some oh, near. Sometimes it seemed if I just dreamed somehow. Again, even though wood, very open and relax your jaw. That's very important here that you don't get tight and that you don't actually have a lot of action in your jaw throughout this song. It's not like somehow you would be here, but very relaxed. Somehow you would be here, wishing I could hear you. Not your, your, your voice again, knowing that I never would. Dreaming of you won't help me to do all that you dreamed I could. So the could is kind 
kind of a hard side, but the really important thing here is that you don't get tight, that you try to stay very relaxed. So let's go on to the next part. Passing bells. It's the same thing here. Passing bells and sculpted angels cold and monumental. Again, not mental monumental the l comes actually pretty late and that way you're going to make sure everybody understands the words that you're singing because that's really important especially when you do musical theater there's a story to be told uh, in actually in every every song but especially here the story that's told is so important seem for you the wrong companions you were warm and gentle Then comes this instrumental. Too many years fighting back tears. Why can't the past just die? Now it modulates into the next. And here, as you can hear on the, it really culminates here a little bit. The energy goes up until it modulates. So you need to reflect that. And again, very nicely written. Why can't the past just die? And it's nice that it's an ah on that top note here. Die. So you can make a nice crescendo on that, which means getting louder. And then you stay on the same pitch and you go on. Wishing you were somehow here again. Knowing we must say goodbye. Try to forgive. Teach me to love. Give me the strength to try. Again, make sure you stay kind of on the light side. Side, but don't get breathy and it's really dangerous here to get breathy because especially on those E's here teach me to love give me the strength to try it's an E how you do how do you sing an E on such a high pitch let me demonstrate how the E changes as you go up let's just kind of do an octave I'm gonna start down here see how my E gets more and more open but I leave my jaw very relaxed And I just give it a little bit more space. But basically, I'm never stopping to think of an E. I'm always thinking E. And I'm not thinking a wide E, but I'm just thinking E in there, giving it more and more space, but it still stays an E. E. See, I don't go wide here. I do an E, it's more like in there. When you do an E, the tongue kind of goes up between the back of your teeth there, your, your back teeth. And it doesn't actually go all the way up. Like in the front, it lies there very relaxed. Always thinking of an E. Always thinking of an E. Don't think ah. It, it gets closer to ah, but you always keep on thinking E because it has this little lift in the back there. But just make sure your throat stays open. Don't get narrow there. E Then it gets really tight and narrow. It's going to sound squeezed. You don't want that to happen. So very jaw relaxed. Stay relaxed. Just give a little bit more space. It's kind of like E, 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 E. I still give it space, but I'm, I'm, I'm not making this tight. Very, very important principle. So let's go on to the end here, and always make sure you have you you take your time to breathe deeply, but very relaxed here. Don't go like <sighs> it doesn't have this high pressure. It needs to have this floaty nature here. No more memories. No.
again here, it is head voicey most of the time, but when you go to the lower areas there, like at the end here, help me say, that's really not in head voice anymore. It would be too classical. Help me say goodbye. You don't want to sound that huge there. You want to sound light, like a nice young girl, right? Very delicate. So this is more like a it's not chesty either it's the vocal cords don't close tightly it's very relaxed it's kind of like you're talking help me say goodbye help me say goodbye again make sure you have those consonants there goodbye wasted years very very um good enunciation here just, you know, don't get lazy there. Work on it. Hope this tutorial helped you to sing this song better. And it's an awesome song. So um, have fun with it. And don't forget to check back on Thursday, yes, for another Q&A session. And on Friday for another singing tip on the more technical side. Also check me out on Periscope, which I'm on there almost every day, Monday through Friday when I can, and uh, singing songs and answering your questions, just chatting a little bit. And also, of course, my podcast, which is on iTunes and Stitcher Radio, everywhere you could find it. Um, more great singing tips for when you're on the go. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.